If you've ever thought about getting back together with an ex, you're not alone. As many as 50% of couples who separate get back together at some point, at least for a while. But before you text your ex back, I have a message for you. I'm Jason Silver, the dating coach for ambitious women. On this channel, Attract Great Guys, we explore the truth about men and how you can attract a committed, loving relationship with a great guy. Please hit that red subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you can get notified of my upcoming VIP trainings. Now let's jump right into it. I've heard thousands of stories from my clients of their suave, smooth ex-boyfriends who weaseled their way back into their lives and it often ends in headache and disaster. So if you're someone who easily forgives and tends to give people the benefit of the doubt, you have to watch this video because you could save yourself from years of unnecessary heartache. So before you just casually respond to that text message he sent you, here's two things you have to know if your ex comes back and you're not certain whether you should forgive him or not. Number one, ask yourself if you're just being nostalgic. Nostalgia actually plays a pretty big role in how we view past relationships. And of course it does. It makes us feel better about ourselves and the time that we invested with someone, even if it didn't work out. Research actually shows that men tend to be more nostalgic about past relationships than women, which is why it's not so surprising when a guy hits up an old flame for a date. But nostalgia can also be a trap. It can lead us to make bad decisions. So how do you know if you've been bitten by the nostalgia bug? Well, are you spending a lot of time thinking about the early part of the relationship when everything was so simple and good? Or are you only reflecting about the positive times with your ex? asking yourself questions like, what if he could always be that way? Now, I can be the ultimate nostalgia guy. My friend always laughed at me when I tried to romanticize my first kiss because it was in eighth grade, I was on the back of the bus at summer camp, and there was a junior counselor who had just smoked a cigarette and was feeling a little feisty, I guess, and she kissed me, and the taste of the cigarette was so disgusting, it was so gross, and when I mentioned this to my friend who was there and I described it, kind of like a romantic way, he reminded me of my face when I pulled back from her and I think he used the word, dude, you were disgusted. <laughs> so let's be honest here. Most relationships don't just end spur of the moment during the good times. They end for very good reasons after a lot of thought usually. And it's reasonable to think that many of the past problems you have with your ex are going to resurface. Can you live with them? Number two, look at the dark side and not just the bright side. There are some people who are just blessed with the gift of forgiveness and patience and just being this relaxed, gentle soul. But I want you to be brave enough to take just a short moment to think about the reason why he is your ex. A few years ago, a study in the Journal of Experimental Psychology looked at a group of adults who were struggling to get over a past relationship. Now, when researchers asked these people to reflect on something negative about the relationship, such as an annoying habit that their ex had, their attraction to their ex-partners decreased. Basically, they were able to break through some of that nostalgia. Now, I'm not suggesting that you just sit around all day with negative thoughts about your ex. That's not healthy. And I'm sure that you wouldn't want him doing that to you. But I think it's important to reflect on some of the bad times and not just the good times because you want to take a balanced appraisal of your past relationships with your ex before you even consider dating him again. Don't just imagine these in your head. Write it down so you can see with your own two eyes. Listen, some relationships with exes do work out. That's the truth. People grow and mature. But there's a reason they call them on-again, off-again relationships because the on is oftentimes followed by another off. So do yourself a favor before you just jump back into dating an ex, walk yourself through that two steps that I just outlined because they can help you to make a clear-minded decision that you can feel more confident about. But maybe you're struggling to even find a quality guy who you want to commit to. Regardless of whether you're meeting guys who won't commit or you're not meeting guys at all, I'm here to help you. And I have a coaching program that's designed to help you meet and attract commitment-minded quality men quickly and easily without wasting time on the wrong guys. So if you're interested in hearing more, Check out this short training that I just filmed about it. Click the link below this video and I'll see you over there. Be well.